Hey, don't get attached, shall we? Well, here we are with episode five of The Last of Us. We're halfway through the season. This, you're halfway through this episode, we will be halfway through the season. Although they have a variable uh, run times. We had hour and 20 minutes, 52 minutes, an hour and 15 minutes, or 45 minutes. I predict we're going to be back up to an hour this time. They just don't seem to give a shit. Just one thing I want to address from the last episode. Uh, the actress who plays Kathleen, if I'm right, I've, I've seen a lot of comments uh, about her this week. People have varying opinions. My opinion, and she was very underwhelming in the role. I know what they're trying to do. It just didn't work for me. But, if I'm right, she's the same actress who was in this TV series from a few years ago, three or four years ago. That uh, she, she was a sheriff who took in, who she adopted a girl who turned out to be a robot. Or a cyborg or something like that. She adopted her, and, and I thought she was wonderful in that role. She was an incredible actress. Really charismatic and sold the, uh, I believe she was a cop. And I just loved her performance, and she has an interesting look, because she's not the Hollywood beauty type. So that really worked for her. She was great. She was, her and the girl who played the, the, the robot girl were fucking great. It, I believe she's the same actress. I haven't looked it up. I've been pretty busy this week recording a bunch. But I believe she is. So that means the problem I have is not the actress. The problem I have is the way the character's being written and the way she's being directed. So it's not the actress. And maybe it will change this episode. Like, maybe there'll be more to it. But there was just something about it that just didn't, just didn't work for me. But now that I know I, I liked her in something else in a similar role, playing a cop. She was a, she, Actually, she was a sheriff. She was a sheriff of a small town. And she stood up to the FBI. She stood up against conspirators. Like, I totally believed her. She was shooting motherfuckers. She was fist fighting people. I had 100% believed that she could pull this off, right? Like, so, so it's not the actress. It is absolutely the writing and direction. So at least we, we've identified what the problem area is. Now we'll see. Like maybe, and of course I have a bias. I really like the actress in that role. You know, the, the, whatever that show is called. I can't remember what the show's called. But um, maybe I'll feel more just sim simply because now I remember what I've seen her in something. I really liked her, what, what I've seen her before. You know, Tom Hanks is in a role. We're going to automatically like that character, whether we should just based on that, what, that one project or not. Like if he was to play a complete scumbag, we probably shouldn't like the character. But it's Tom Hanks, right? We can't divorce ourselves from that. If we love an actor, we're going to feel a certain kind of way. If we if we don't like an actor, if we actually actively dislike the actor, we're going to feel a certain kind of way. So we bring our biases into our viewing experience. We all do it, right? All right, the episode just dropped. It looks like it's 59 minutes. Not as long as I thought it was going to be. So, well, I was off by a couple minutes. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, this must be where I took over, right? <laughs> Fuck Fedra. I'm gonna probably see the backstory of what happened to Kathleen's brother and you know the uh, what um, Henry and, and Sam and all that stuff. That'll give us some much needed context. Yeah, that's right, strict them naked boys. We'll be taking these uniforms. Hey, they shouldn't have been talking shit. I guess Fedra is ruling with an iron fist. That's the worst way to hang, by the way. My friend's pulling you up. I already have the rope up and it just dropped me. This pulling me up, shit, man. That's the worst fucking way to hang. Yeah, right. We ain't getting no damn fair trial. Well, Sam, it's time to go. Sam is a kid, right? Oh, shit. God damn. I think you got him. That's enough fucking knives. Yeah. Apparently, we're on some sign language shit. I wonder if the kid's deaf or something. Yep, we got supplies. Should last a few weeks. I think they said it was a, a couple weeks, right? Once, uh... Oh, you know what I think we're going to see? We're going to probably see quite a bit of a flashback. 20, 30 minutes of a flashback. Up to the point where they actually find uh, uh, Joel and Ellie. And then we'll, we'll resume the rest of the episode. They love the non-linear storytelling. Did it feel good? Fedra scum. Thrown in prison. Watching us hang. She's a little bitter. Fucking... Apples? Um, excuse me, we're, we're not having sex with apples. Oh, oh, you may. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> Did it make you feel safe? How does it make it's you feel now? Bed. Can you just fucking kill us already? Do we have to have the fucking lecture? Not Fedra. It's like what when soccer moms are revolutionaries. I'm just <laughs> no. not buying it, man. Put you on trial. You're all guilty, so that's how that'll go. 
<laughs> but first, you have to do sure. something for me. So there's going to be no fair trial, right? Where is Henry? Yeah. Your informers. <laughs> Inform. <laughs> she, I will say this, man. Henry. There's The dialogue is good. It has to be the way she's being directed. Because the dialogue is good. <laughs> like the way she claps her hands, your informers inform. Some shit she was saying in the last episode. Does this satisfy the conditions, right? Kill them. He's with Edelstein. Oh, shit. That'll make you talk. Edelstein was a collaborator? Oh, yeah, the doctor. So that's how they found the doctor. It was a lot more discreet than you fucking idiots. Yeah, kill him. In case things went bad. That's right. Snitch real good, motherfucker. Great. <laughs> Haven't you heard? Look, I'm just trying to give you the information. We don't need sarcasm. I swear, <laughs> I told you everything I know. Okay, kill him last, then. Of course you have. <laughs> You're a rat. <laughs> Very bitter. We should wait. Should we wait a day or two? Should we wait a week? Oh, you don't need to be sarcastic, ma'am. It's not my seventh priority, Perry. <laughs> is that what he is to you? I like Perry. I like the fact that you like really putting him on that. trial. Yeah, sure. No, we yeah. are not really putting them on trial. <laughs> Burn the bodies. It's faster. Oh, that was that pile of bodies. Okay. Yeah, she, I'll tell you what, man. She's bloodthirsty. Yeah, these motherfuckers ain't got no patience for no goddamn trial. Maybe that's what they like about her. They like the fact that, you know, no hesitation. There's a problem with that, though. It's the whole Ramsey Bolton problem. You betray your word, pretty soon nobody's going to take your word. You know, that just defeats the purpose. Like, you, you, know, you can't get away with anything. Nobody will trust you. You can only betray people who trust you. For somebody to have talked to her... They would have to trust on some level she would mean what they what they what she said that she will not kill you if you uh, talk right. This is that first place they go up in the attic that she finds last episode. I'm assuming. Oh shit! This all oh, this doctor got you. Yeah, but it's but on some level, if nobody trusts me because you're always, she's always like uh, betraying her word. Then you know they would have never found out about Ellison. So no, the next people you capture will not fucking talk, man. So I'm just saying, like you did. You know, you... Me a favor. What if they get to him? I already did. He won't be talking. Oh shit. Okay. Water, toilets. Yeah. Just make do, man. The apartments below were tied into the QZ main. Oh, <laughs> nice. So we're fucked on food. Ammunition. Yeah. Empty. Jesus, dude. We weren't shooting our way out of this anyway. Yeah, but no. well, still. We'll sneak our way out. Oh. Tunnels? I mean, what else are we supposed to do? I go to the trouble. You can kill yourself right here. Yeah. <laughs> He's a cynical fuck. Six pounds of drugs for the three of us. Jesus. We stick to the minimum. He's scared. Because you're scared. Yeah, he's picking up on your energy. Start drawing some supermen. Hehehe. <laughs> I saw an episode of The Evil recently where they used the same kind of thing to talk to each other because they, they had a vow of silence. He said we're going to be fine. Yeah, sure. 1,000%. Let's make it 1,000%. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Get to work. Yeah, <laughs> get to work with all those drawings. Yeah, <laughs> he's good with this kid. I thought they were like, I guess I didn't get a good look. I thought they were like little papers that were attached to the walls. I didn't realize they were drawn right on the walls. Ten days later, well, we're out of food. Still looking for your ass. We know, motherfucker. Got one can of food left, apparently. Hey, man. Yeah, you must you must went out for food or some shit. Yeah. This, this kid's hard to control, man. I'm tired of drawing. Or painting or whatever. You gotta be careful about that shit, man, looking out these windows. You know, protein curbs your hunger pains. They said they had six pounds of protein, or six pounds of beef jerky, right? I'd space that out, right? Like, you know, so when you first wake up in the morning, 
You had one piece of beef jerky. And now that, that was, you're good for like four or five hours. Because it curbs the hunger pains. That's why you have protein for breakfast. Shit. Yeah, we need to roll. So, uh... The kid must be attached to the doctor. That must be how Henry found him. Yeah, he must be. See, he's attached to the doctor. It's a cold world out here, man. Doctor went out to get some food and got got it. But, like, if you use that protein wisely, you can stretch it a lot longer. Now, of course, you need energy to run and flee. So that's, but that's a set problem. Right now, you're just trying to control the hunger pains. Oh, this is what we see on his face later. Hey, man, what the fuck are you doing? I didn't give you permission. I did not give consent. It's a good idea, though. Make you feel like a superhero. Yeah. Nice little mirror you got there. Oh, shit. We know what that is. This is our chance to get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. They actually saw it happen. So that's how they know they can trust him. He's butt out there busting caps. That's right, motherfucker. At some point, they get guns. I wonder if the, the two guns that they had... Yeah, you got a good look at his face. I wonder if the two guns that they had were empty. Like what we see at the end of the last episode. That's right. They're going to be busy for a minute. So yeah, we need to go now. Yeah. Or I guess I wait till the If we're already caught up, they did this, they, a lot of economy, like 15 minutes, man. They covered, I thought it would be 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, they covered this shit in just 15 minutes. And they got everything they needed. Oh, he put the glass in the hallway outside, too, outside the room. I thought it was just inside the room. Yeah, what's up? Our fake uh, gun with no bullets. It's a good bluff. <laughs> Joe. Joe! Well, this is awkward. Eyes on me. Eyes on me. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> I want to help you. Yeah, but you're, you're you're picking the wrong way to do it. I don't know what the next step is with something like this. But if I lower <laughs> my gun, so you don't hurt us. Right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he's about to kick your ass. We're your fucking tone, man. That's just the way he sounds. <laughs> he has an asshole voice. Joe. <laughs> he has an asshole voice. <laughs> Dude, asshole voice. But if either of you guys try anything... <laughs> he's going to kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an asshole voice. I love that so much. Dude, put the gun down. Up. Slow. Get <laughs> slow. <laughs> this is like when, uh, speaking of comic book heroes, right? They meet up and they fight at first because they don't understand what's going on. Who are you? We're on the run, man. It's my brother Sam. Brother, okay. So they didn't know each other. I guess he's running a close second. <laughs> oh shit, he gave him some food. Excellent. Where'd you get these? From Bill. It's a long story. Actually, no, about 45 minutes, actually. He always loves to give the little bit of uh, what's left. Yes, you know how he always likes to give a little bit of what's left to the kids. Means a lot. <laughs>